from my perspective, what you're saying, you're telling me is that you're gonna go in there intelligently, you're gonna put him where he's the weakest at, and basically make it easy, make it look real easy. Do you think that's credited to your- I'm not, I'm not talking about even just, I'm talking about striking. Oh, you gonna knock him out? Yeah, bro. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shut his, I gotta shut his, him, my, him down at what he does the best and put him to sleep. Oh, what's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. We have another breakdown for you. We are going to be breaking down uh, Walker versus Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill is going to be taking on Alex Pierre for the light heavyweight belt in the UFC. Now, Jamal Hill, he's coming off a major surgery, uh, Achilles tendon surgery. He ended up rupturing his and he had to vacate the belt. Since he vacated the belt, a new champion has come to the helm, which is Alex Pierre. Now, we've had Jamal Hill on the Mighty Cast, and he said he's going to knock out Alex Pieta. Now, these are one of my, this fight is one of my favorite fights of Jamal Hill. Now, Jamal Hill is very athletic, big, long, absolutely powerful. So, if you are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also, hit the bell to know when we go live. Now, this fight against Walker, um, Johnny Walker is very, very explosive, does some wild, crazy stuff, very dynamic on the feet, and uh, Jamal Hill knocked him out. Um, obviously, Jamal Hill has fought the best of the division of his time. Um, his fight with Glover Teixeira was absolutely amazing. Um, he was very battle-tested in that fight because Glover Teixeira can do it all. He can strike, he can submit, he can grapple. He's pretty well rounded. But let's let's take a look at what Jamal Hill does very well. Okay, Jamal Hill coming out southpaw, moving. Okay, now a lot of you guys who, who don't understand like the goal for a southpaw or orthodox person is here's the void okay the southpaw person always wants to go and get outside this lead leg because if he's outside this lead leg this side his power is lined up the guy who's orthodox who's fighting a southpaw wants to stay on his outside lead leg because this lines up his power shot so it's always a battle for buying real estate. Who could be outside of the lead leg to line up their power shot? Now, when you have a mirror match, which, I, which mirror means, if I'm orthodox and my opponent's orthodox, then I'm just trying to get away from his power while keeping him in my power and vice versa. We're southpaw, southpaw, exact same thing. But you're gonna see Jamal Hill going outside that lead leg, trying to get outside the lead leg uh, all the time. And so that's pretty much the battle of southpaw versus orthodox. For people out there who don't really realize like what okay if i'm fighting a southpaw i'm always trying to get out that outside lead leg and line up my body kick in my right hand but i did it to john dotson um that was one of the things i try to focus on when i was fighting him in M M him in mma what's going ladies and gentlemen this podcast is sponsored by price picks now price picks is a daily fantasy sports pick them now ladies and gentlemen the cool thing i love about price pick is you are not playing against millions and i mean millions of people around the world you are playing against the projections for example let's say lebron james is going to have i don't know seven rebounds now you might like you know what? lebron james has been looking good recently i think he's on fire today i'm gonna go with more he's gonna land those seven rebounds or if you're not liking how lebron james is looking he's looking a little tired you look like his age is getting the best of him why don't you go with less? And a cool thing about Price Picks, it's not just NBA, it's NHL. MLB just started. They even got Valorant and then you got CSGO. So if you want to give Price Pick a try, all you got to do is go to your app store, download it. And when you do that, make sure you use my promo code MIGHTY. They will match up to $100 of your deposits and make sure you make the right picks at the right place, which is Price Picks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the content. But he's always trying to get that, that lead leg. And that's why you see him circle away from uh, Walker's power. And when he does that, it forces Walker to either go this way or to circle to keep him away from this. So that's why you've seen Walker. He's not backing straight up. He wants to stay in that curve line or the moon face. Like I, I, I mentioned you guys that when uh, I broke down Alex Volkanovsky. Very uh, beautiful distance measure from uh, Jamal, from sashaying that uh, push kick from uh, Walker. 
but it's being very patient outside that uh the void body kick remember free it's a free kick from southpaw to orthodox for both sides look look at it look at the <laughs> he's so walker so dynamic and ballistic across the distance you never know what he's gonna throw But the one thing I love what I'm seeing with Jamal Hill here is that he's not staying in front of him. He's always circling outside that lead leg. And he's also always trying to force Walker to circle. And he, he just went downstairs for a cross. And he's doing a good job. He's not overextending across the void. He's walking and being very patient across the void. Right? Whee! Whee! <laughs> Now that's what we do. <laughs> so I love how Walker just bum rushed him. But the thing I just saw that I do not like, which could be Jamal Hill's downfall, was he fought inside that void instead of crushing the void. I'm sure he's gonna do it again. We'll see. That's where Alex Pierre usually thrives. Okay, we got some body locking going on here. Okay, separates. Okay, he's going to get right back. Okay, jumps right back on him. Now, that's a little too jumpy push kick. But you see, I like how he just walks across the void. He walks and throws across it. Okay, he's still... And this constant pressure that he's doing is going to be good. Good for when he fights Alex because Alex likes to measure. So, Alex will circle. Alex will circle tighter not wider like walker he would circle tighter to force uh jamal hill to turn a lot sooner because another person that alex pieta has fought that likes to pressure very hard is sean strickland and what he do to sean strickland he forced sean strickland to turn and he kept on banging at the legs and he went body and he went up to the head so look to see him do that to jamal hill if jamal hill takes this tactic of trying to pressure alex pieta but this constant movement across the distance, right here, right? It, it doesn't give Johnny Walker opportunity to set up his combinations. Nope, with a constant pressure and a constant pressure. And you see it forced Walker to go orthodox signs back to nice southpaw. Boy! Oh! Gee! So, he's able to do that because he's not... Each time he goes to the edge of the void, it's not a big explosion. He has this nice constant pressure. When he gets there, he just keeps on pressuring, and then he throws when he's there. Now, there was one time where he stopped and he started exchanging when Walker was against the cage, and he was inside that void fighting where... Alex Pierre to just knocked out Yuri. He's also knocked out Izzy Arasanya there. And he's also knocked out... Well, he didn't really knock out Sean Strickland there. But here it is. So, right here, he throws a jab. He slips it. Now, when he's slipping it, look where his energy... Jamal Hill's energy is going this way. Right? He slipped it. He's got this beautiful cocked overhand right loaded and locked into his shoulder. We call it lock it in place. It's locked. He's going to let it go. Slow motion. And look where this lands. It lands right here on the fo on the forehead. Right there. And also, Jamal Hill gets hit too. But when he gets hit, it's not flushed on his head. It's in a position where his whole body can absorb it. His whole, his neck, his back, you know, his body, his feet are planted to where... The place he hit Jamal, uh, where Jamal Hill hit Walker, it's right here, right? So my head's going to move. I get hit here, I get to absorb all that. And this is why this shot was so nasty. And look at the response that we get from his body. He basically freezes up, right? Freezes up and goes backwards. Uh, uh. Look at that. And falls straight back. And this shot right here is Game Ender. 
Woo! My God. And throws everything he had in that shot. Everything. Slip. Overhand right. Lands. Follows up. He realizes he dropped him. And this shot right here is... Look... Oh, Jesus Christ. Wham! Everything into that shot. Top view. Let me back it up real quick. See if you see some good... Right here. Top view. So right here, Jamal is in orthodox. They're mirrored. So the whole time... Jamal Hill was in softball trying to get outside this lead leg. He was all trying to get out this lead leg. But now they're mirrored, but their hands are lined up to, at the same. It's mirror, mirror, right? But when Jamal Hill threw his shot, he slipped. He slips it. He slips it. That shot came out. He slips it. Ducks his head over, drives all his weight there. He's fully extended. Wee. And lands. And that shot here, whack. Such a nasty shot. Very nasty shot. And the thing is going to come down to, can Jamal Hill stop the leg kick, check the leg kick, and not allow Alex Pierre to turn him? You know, like I said, go back and watch the Sean Strickland fight. Sean Strickland did a good job of crossing it, the void, getting to... Alex, but Alex would never let him get to him fully because he would turn him, turn him on a nice tart, on a nice tight angle arc, turning him, going to the body, going to the head, leg kick inside. Now I know Jamal is going to try to knock him out because he said he was going to do it. Can he do it? Absolutely, because they're both big men and they both hit extremely hard. But he's got to make sure if he's going to do it, he's got to make sure he doesn't get dropped as well. So boys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Also. Hit the bell to go live and let me know your comments on can Jamal Hill finish Alex Pierre.